Greetings of the day. My name is Ms. Prachivani, and today we will talk about customer satisfaction. Customer satisfaction is a very common yet very powerful term used in day-to-day -day life by all the customers. Now, customer satisfaction is a measurement we use to quantify the degree to which a customer is satisfied with a product or a service or an experience. So when we say we are happy with the services offered by a particular company, we are actually saying that we are satisfied. It measures how a customer feels about a brand interaction. Now, remember when you went for a coffee and a feedback form was given to you with this rating system? It was actually to understand your satisfaction level. So what is satisfaction? A person's feelings of pleasure or disappointment resulting from comparing a product's perceived performance in relation to his or her expectations. So the minute a particular coffee that you ordered met with all the expectations that you had, you will end up giving five star rating. If you are disappointed, you will end up giving one star. Now, why customer satisfaction is important? It is important because it is going to help us in increasing the sales. And indeed, it will help us in gaining high percentage of profit. Satisfied customers will make sure that a brand is getting a repeat business. And at the end of the day, satisfied customers are going to make sure that the employees are ready to serve happy customers because ultimately all the employees will be absolutely delighted to serve customers who are appreciating the service and the product of their brand. Now, way towards customer satisfaction. The aim of any commercial organization is to make a profit. Now, service excellence will lead us towards the profit. So it is possible to have a customer who's not satisfied with the services in spite of you offering the best ones. Here actually comes the opportunity to improve the services by which you will have customers who are highly satisfied We also have to make sure that if we are looking at having our customers satisfied, we have to create distinct factors. It's important to make sure that company understands the factors which are essential to have our customers happy. Let's offer them the right product. It is a leading indicator of consumer repurchase intentions and loyalty. It's a point of differentiation. It is going to help in keeping the brand ahead in competition. Let's value our customers because it is going to help us increase in the number of loyal customers. Our customers are our brand advocates. They are going to help in reducing the negative word of mouth. At the end of the day, we have to remember that it is cheaper to retain the customers that we have than acquire the new ones. So there are four factors which influence the customer satisfaction. The first one is product. The second one is sales activity, after sales activity and culture. Now, when we talk about product, let product designers meet customers' needs when they are designing a product or a service, when they are manufacturing it, and during the quality control that is going to happen. Now, what is a culture? Culture is the values or beliefs of the firm with tangible and intangible symbols and system used and the employee behavior. This culture will have an impact on the overall sales and after sales activity. Now, the sales activity is the entire activity or all the 
sets of activities like the messages which are sent when promoting a particular product or a service or dealing with the entire sales force and intermediaries they all are supposed to be customer friendly when we say after sales we are talking about guarantees or warranties which are offered or feedback or complaint handling or overall responsiveness is extremely important all these factors will make sure that we have our customers absolutely satisfied with the product or a service that he has bought let's take an example of apple iphone so apple iphone becomes a product sales activity is when you actually visit the outlet to buy a product the entire process that you go through while purchasing the product becomes a sales activity after sales activity is when you go ahead for any kind of damage or any kind of repair and you visit a, a center which will help you in terms of handling all the problems and culture as we all know the culture of apple says that a company which actually believes of producing the best products and offering the excellent service quality now few tips to delight the customer have limited number of options the more options might confuse our customers by that way we're going to make everything easy for the guest anything complicated will try our customers patience establishing sequence is important for customers to have a great clarity make sure the interactions with customers and the front line staff is absolutely easy by that way the customers will be comfortable while having a interaction if there is a chance and if you have a guest waiting or a customer waiting make sure his waiting becomes a bearable and it is a pleasure for him we have to make sure that we train all the associates to sell a good product knowledge or a service knowledge is extremely important to keep our customers happy anticipating guest needs will make sure that customers do come back to the same brand improve service and know what your customers want now the sequence of customer service actually talks about three elements the first one is pre transaction element transaction element and post transaction element here when we say pre transaction element we talk about accessibility system flexibility organization structure customer service policy under transaction we talk about order cycle time stock availability order status or information and in post transaction we talk about availability of spare parts call out time product tracing or customer complaints so whenever we are monitoring and measuring the customer satisfaction proactivity is a tool to outserve the competition it's important to ask for a feedback from every customer to understand perspective of every customer because the minute you understand what customers were expecting you would be able to meet those expectations in future if you have not met them in the first interaction modified this confirmation model is a model for understanding the process that consumers compare expected and perceived performance of a service that they have received let's understand this model now you have expected performance and we have perceived performance now this is what our customer is going to compare so when we say expected performance the customer is going to think about brand's recent communication or the brand's reputation or what he has heard from his friends or family or what media has told him 
and under perceived performance overall product or service quality his interaction with staff the service experience perceived price value he's going to compare both this and let's say if perceived performance exceeded the expected performance this is what is going to happen he is going to be this confirmation which is positive he is going to be super satisfied and the service experience is going to be memorable for him likewise let's say expected and performance performance perceived performance are at power then the confirmation is going to be there the service performance outcome is going to be neutral and the service experience is going to be forgetful likewise if expected performance is not met in his perceived performance then negative disconfirmation he is going to be dissatisfied with the service performance and the service experience is awful on that note let us also understand that there is an indian customer satisfaction index which was launched in india for measuring and benchmarking organizations in india on customer satisfaction within and across sectors icsi has started with the indian banking sector and over time they plan to cover more industries or sectors so customer satisfaction is extremely important Maya, I hope you have watched the video carefully. Check for the quiz link in the video description. These are the references and credits. For service encounter video, there's a link which is already given here. I shall give this link in the video description too. On that note, let me say thank you and I will see you very soon.